you ever meet Kenzo? Uh, no, sir, I didn't know. John, what are you going to miss most about being here? Most thing I remember is waking up and going to practice. You know, and being around my teammates and you know, going walking outside of lodge and have about ten to fifteen cars lined up to sign autographs. You know, as a team, <laughs> the fans. You know, you tell, sometimes you gotta tell them to leave, but they always gonna be there and they always gonna support you. So I'm always gonna remember being here for this university and putting on that Kentucky Wildcats jersey and just going to class. Did you ever expect the level of attention I mean, between the dance that was literally the three-second thing at Madness to all the other stuff when you kind of became a folk hero? Did you ever expect all that to, to happen during your time here? Uh, I knew I knew a lot of expectations going to be you know set for me because of what type of player I was coming out of high school. But like you said, I didn't know all of it was going to end up being like it was, you know, like a three-second dance and all the other things and so much expectation for this team. But you know, I loved it for every second, every moment that we had at the University of Kentucky. When you came out of high school, the rules weren't what they are. Do you, do you think you would have gone to the NBA or tried it then? Uh, no, sir. I never would. I was going to be a teammate. You know, that's what I promised my dad before he passed when I was nine. I was going to go to college. No matter how long it was or how long it was going to be, I'm going to come back and get my degree. And that's what I want to do. But I always want to experience life in college. The University of Kentucky's never had a first number one pick for the NBA draft. What does it mean to you to know that you might be first? Uh, it means a lot. It shows that you know God has blessed me with this type of ability and talent. You know, I'm always working hard and dedicated to this, and you know I just just glad that I chose this school to come to. Like I said, it's a great school not just for basketball, but for academics. They take it serious. You know, you're a sports player or not, or just a regular student. And the basketball standpoint is one of the top basketball programs in the country. So why wouldn't you want to come here? Transitioning from college to the NBA, how much contact do you have with other players, LeBron, people like that? Do you talk to these people on a daily basis, or? Uh, it's not a daily basis, but you know, I asked for them for a little bit of advice. You know, they had a little up to the same kind of hype and how they how they got through with it. And then, you know, like I said, my coaches staff, that most some of my coaches like Coach Gallup Perry and Tony Delk, they play in the NBA or they coach there. So they just tell me it's gonna be a tough thing. You know, you gotta be mentally prepared for it. They gonna push through stuff and tell that you gotta get through. And I'm ready for any challenge they got for me. What are you doing right now to get ready for the draft? Uh, working out. You know, working out every day, two for two, three out. You know, I'm trying to put in work, and I know. You can't stop here, you know. Like I said, if you want to be one of the best players or go for any goal that you have set for yourself, you got to work hard every day. And that's what I've been doing every, every day, ever since the first day I stepped on this campus. Will you stay here until the end of the semester? Oh, I'm finishing out my school. That's what I came here to do. I didn't come here just to be a basketball player. I came to be a student athlete. So, you know, I'm finishing up the semester. I'm going to take my exams. And I'm going to come back during the summer, you know, to finish my degree. You know, I'm going to come back every summer. Why not when I want to be here in Lexington, Kentucky, you know? People say there's not a lot to do, but I love it and be around the fans and be around the people around here. I would love to come back.